and from my perspective, I work specifically for the ESI along with some colleagues in the room that are here, Jim and Leo and Jodie, I think. Um, uh, uh, but the, the ESI is builds on um, a whole variety of transdisciplinary research that's going on at the Penguin campus. So the ESI specifically has kind of three core themes of uh, research activity. It's got clean technologies, it's got social science, and it's got natural environment. And that really builds on the wider research interests going on on the campus as a whole. So we have biosciences, we have geography, uh, we have small English department, we have renewable energy, energy policy teams. And the whole idea is that we have this interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary research going on the campus that is there to help address some of the wicked environmental problems that we've got now. And this concept of transdisciplinary thinking is saying, well, conventional disciplinary thinking has not been particularly helpful in addressing some of these more complex environmental problems. And, and we've moved to interdisciplinary thinking, which is trying to uh, merge disciplines together. And transdisciplinary thinking is what today is all about, really. It's acknowledging that not even scientific disciplines have the knowledge to address some of the problems that we face. And that we need to work together with communities, with businesses, with individuals, uh, with people like yourselves to come up with solutions to the problems that we face. So this is just a snapshot of some of the weird and wonderful kind of research activity that's going on in the ESI and the wider campus. So we've obviously got quite a lot of work around marine renewable energy linking to the wave hub. Uh, we've got work related to uh, climate change and uh, risk management. We've got work going on around uh, pollinators and bees. Um, a lot of work around ecosystem services, so looking at the environment and trying to evaluate what services the environment provides to us, how we can map those kind of activities. Uh, and uh, quite a lot of uh, marine uh, ecology and ecology work as well, uh, often relating to the wave hub. So we've got a whole breadth of uh, interdisciplinary activity here, but that's only going to be useful if we work with you as a community, the Cornish community, the region, to come up with solutions to the problems we face. And so this leads on a little bit to my role. What's the point of me? Why am I here? Um, my role, I'm a research and knowledge and change manager, so I work at the interface between the academic world and the outside world. And this is really trying to drive the impact of the research that we do. Uh, impact is important for the universities now because it, it is increasingly seen as a way of gaining research money and improving the impact of the research means that we attract more research money into the university so it improves the quality of our research which is great for the university and the other side is the employability of our students we've got a whole cohort of uh, renewable energy students, energy policy students, ecologists, all here that are going to ultimately uh, go out into the workforce. So if we can build in employability opportunities into their courses, that improves their prospects beyond leaving the university. And really what I want to go on, hopefully a few of you know me in here, and um, I wanted to kind of put down some, uh, I wanted to call it rules for engagement, but that seemed quite like battleistic and uh, a bit militarian, so I've called it principles of cooperation. So we've got quite a busy day, we're all already a little bit behind time, so you know, if we can ask people to be concise, you know, the name, who they're coming from, or their organisation, their name, keep points to, keep points to, keep points concise and to the point, that will all help. I'm sure we've all got something to say, we've all got a valued uh, judgement on the role of community renewable energy or decentralised energy. So, you know, again, keep that concise and allow other people to have a turn. Certainly, the expertise is not at the front, it certainly isn't at the front now. Um, and there's many other um, people from the university and outside the university in the room that know far more about what we're going to be talking about today. So we might start throwing questions back into the audience um, if, if the people at the front can't answer them. So we're relying on your expertise. And really, this is uh, the, the, the second to last point is kind of trying to, where does the university fit into this? Um, we're, we're not interested in uh, delivering um, stuff on the ground. We want to be, I suppose, positioning ourselves as your Cornwall's community's research partner in looking at the impact of community renewable energy um, in delivering a more sustainable uh, energy future. Um, so we want to be your research partner. So we, hopefully, are here to support you in your work. But, um, 
as you'll no doubt be aware, the role of community energy is complex. You know, it involves lots of things, and I've got a slide that we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, so, so we've got to acknowledge that complexity. We've tried to fit quite a lot in today, and probably, perhaps wrongly, we'll, we might fail. So we might have some bits that are missing, we might have questions that we're not looking at, we might not have expertise uh, in the room that we need. Um, so we've hopefully got, with the Energy Policy Group, a little bit of an ongoing commitment, if you so wish, at the end of the day, uh, to keep this kind of network going and keep the conversation going to help you in your communities move forward. Uh, so this is perhaps a starter for 10. I'd also like to say thank you for some of the people that have been instrumental in kind of pulling the day together, certainly Cornwall Council and Energy Share, um, but also everyone else that's speaking today, CEP, Cabin, Eden Project, uh, Falmouth, Wren, all those people. So thank you very much to you. I'm sure there's other people that would, would have liked to have spoken or have got many things to say, but maybe we can keep this for a future event. And this is really my last slide, and, and this is perhaps reflecting on my experience as a parish councillor and being involved with some renewable energy groups near where I live. But it's a, it's a complex issue. It involves lots of different things, and I've called it this community energy ecosystem. So it involves localism, devolution, uh, our cultural and historical legacies. It's about installed capacity, it's about the technology, it's about innovation, it's about all of these things. And how, how we wait, prioritise, trade off, integrate, and have the capacity to, to, to respond to all these things means that we're all going to be delivering on different degrees of success, I suppose. So sometimes we can get quite down on our ability to move forward, but I'm sure we are moving forward. But it is complex, and, and hopefully this is where the university can help that we've got people like energy policy um, to, to, to look at things in a very interdisciplinary way. So now I shall hand over to Dr. Shane Fudge. Dr. Shane Fudge is a lecturer in the Energy Policy Group.